I have a lot of students who ask me about the real income versus the substitution effect when the price of one good changes, and I've come up with a pretty decent flow chart that kind of shows each effect. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of share it with everyone. If the price of let's say good x goes down, then the quantity demanded of good x is going to go up. And that's mainly because of the law of demand. But how is that price change in good x going to affect the consumption of, let's say, good y? Let's hold the price of good y as constant. So the price of good y uh, has not changed at all. So when the price of good x goes down, we have two effects. Let's use green to represent the real income effect. If the price of x goes down, what that means is your income now has more purchasing power. Because your income has more purchasing power, your real income has actually increased. So now we have a couple of questions to ask. Well, is good Y a normal good? Or is good Y an inferior good? If you don't know uh, the difference between a normal and an inferior good, I strongly suggest visiting my website, and I have a good article about chicken in a can, uh, which is definitely an inferior good. If it's a normal good, good y is a normal good, we'd actually see the quantity of good y, because our real income has increased, we'll actually want more of it. If it's an inferior good, because our real income has gone up since the price of x has gone down, we would actually consume less of good y. Uh, let's use a red marker uh, to demonstrate the substitution effect. What the substitution effect is, is that you are going to substitute into the good that is relatively cheaper. And this doesn't mean that in absolute terms the good is cheaper, like let's say $3 versus $5. It just means that uh, in comparison to before, it is relatively cheaper now. So if the price of good X goes down as good Y stays the same, well, the quantity of good X is going to go up because it is relatively cheaper, meaning that my quantity of good y is going to go down. So as you can see, we're going to have conflicting effects on how the price of good x affects the quantity of good y consumed in the market. And this is going to just depend on which effect has a greater impact, or the magnitude is bigger.